Hello, Burp Fam, and here I am in the Twin Cities. Um, I won't tell you which Twin City I'm in for my own safety, but today we are at Furry Migration. This is my little fursuit right here. But today, and yes, that's Score Bunny. I'll be talking about that one probably tomorrow on the live. Um, today, we are talking about Lucario. Lucario is, I believe, a fighting and steel type, if I remember correctly, or it's just pure fighting and again steel upon mega evolving. Um, I don't remember which generation it was introduced in. I think three or four. I, I'm not sure which generation it was introduced in, but it was one of the main... Um, one of the main mons in Generation 6. Sorry about the shaky camera work there. Um, Generation 6, because it was the first um, Mega Evolution that you got to use. Now, whether you got yourself a, a Riolu early on in the game, or you just waited for the gift Lucario from Karina, is entirely up to you. Um, but... Uh, oh, yes, I almost forgot. It was also in its own movie um, called Lucario and the Legend of Mew, I think. Um, it was the main focus of that movie where it um, the Lucario in the movie was in ancient... Um, was in some ancient area of, I think, Sinnoh? I'm not really sure. Um... Yeah, I, th I think it was Sinnoh, and then um, it got sealed in a staff by a knight named Sir Aaron, and Ash had to help Lucario save the kingdom that it was protecting um, when it got released from the staff. Uh, so, Lucario is one of the common, quote-unquote, furbait Pokemon, um, along with several others that are rather interesting. Now, I don't actually have any um, interesting tidbits about this one because my research team dropped the ball on that, but um, we'll, we'll just go along for a little while here today. I'm going to try and make this about a five-minute video. So, in the interest of that, we will be right back. And we're back. Yay. Okay. Sorry, I have to break these videos up because um, they don't want to send as one whole file if I make it like five minutes long. So, we were talking about Lucario and the Legend of Mew. Uh, in that in that movie, Pikachu ends up getting um, kidnapped along with Team Rocket's Meowth um, by Mew. And Ash and Lucario have to go find him in this great tree thing. I think it's called like the first tree or something. I'm not really sure, but... Um, yeah, Lucar Lucario is one of the common um, fur bait Pokemon, and one of my friends actually has a Lucario fursona. I don't remember what he called it, but... Um, yeah, Luc Lucario is based off of a jackal and the uh, Egyptian god Anubis, um, which I recently learned is actually a combination of like a jackal and an Egyptian wolf. Yes, or a, like, yeah, like an Egyptian gold, golden wolf or something. Uh, and Anubis is the Egyptian god of the dead, or he, like, leads the dead to Osiris, who touches them. Um, so that's what Lucario was based off of. I'm not entirely sure why he specifically is in Gen 6. As like a main plot point. Because Gen 6 was based on France. So I'm not really sure why that happened. But who knows. Maybe the French were highly influenced by the Egyptians. I have no idea. But anyway. That is our talking point for today. On day number 69. Yeah, I know. A lot of you are making your own jokes right now. Yes, day 69 of the countdown to Paldea. Um, 
let me know either in the comments below or if you know me on Facebook. Let me know if you want me to do my live tomorrow out in like the main area where there are other furries around. Or if you just want me to do it um, like I'm doing this one here in my hotel room. Uh, again, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am for my own safety, but I will catch you guys on tomorrow's live. We will be talking about score bunny tomorrow. I decided we were talking about score bunny because I have not seen him for an ape here today. Who knows? But I will be doing my live around probably 11 tomorrow morning after the dance competition preliminaries. So catch me on that one and we will.